Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. I'm getting awesome! You're getting awesome! We're getting awesome! Yeah, that's what I said now! Hey guys, it's the awesome cast number 60. We're here again uh, to talk all the tech news. Rob is hiding behind my shoulder if you're on the video feed. Wave, Rob. Hey, there he is. Okay. <laughs> now, he's going to keep like peeking over my shoulder. It'll be amazing. Um, yeah, hey, we're back again. And with us, I, the, like I see, I, like that. Rob's <laughs> trying to get through. There he is. Hi, Rob De La Creta. How you doing today? <laughs> you know uh, you were doing I'm, that perfect too uh, <laughs> whenever you're trying to get my attention just kind yeah, of kind it, of peek your head around i'll see you on the monitor really like, hey i see i got I, actually you're wrong and um is that uh, is that a little dan benjamin i'm hearing in your is voice it, is that it am i is it uh, maybe i'm kind of uh you were sort of channeling trans, the dan benjamin trans, voice right? i've been listening to a lot of it I, i'm going to start listening to the uh let's make mistakes soon i think Yes. I keep hearing good things. Good things. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, I'm good. I just got back from St. Louis. That's the story. How was that? How was that? How was Uh, the arch? Did you see the arch? Could you miss the arch? Did you go to the arch? I did not go to the arch because everybody in St. Louis told me not to go to the arch. (laughs) Really? (laughs) And, uh, if you ever have the opportunity to go to St. Louis, uh, don't. Okay. All right. What's the big deal with not going? Um... You get the benefit of not having to go. <laughs> um, That's the benefit of not going. Um, it's uh, it's a pretty depressing place, and there's there's nobody there. Like I was I was staying in downtown, totally empty. There's like so five decent restaurants. Kinda, and kinda if you got down. like sad enough that you wanted to like off yourself, you'd have to find somebody to drive a car down the street so you could throw yourself in front of them. So you'd yeah. have to set it up in advance, anyhow. Yeah, you you, you really would, and it was um, we. Um, this is this is a, a family safe show to some degree, but uh, we I'll, I'll say we we ran into, quote unquote, ran into some uh, what you might call night walkers, Ooh. like a block from my hotel, how which was, was right across the street from their main convention center. How how wait the night walkers had a convention? No, it was not a night walker convention. So <laughs> it was like an animal furries? health convention that I was working at. But so um, um, some of them might be furry. You never know. So. Yeah. So, so yeah. What were the rates like? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to ask, but they were uh, really excited that Batman was shooting in Pittsburgh. Oh. And uh, and they like to go snowboarding. Nerdy night walkers. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Nerdy night walkers. So uh, St. Louis taught me the important lesson that uh, hookers are people too. Gotcha. There you go. There you go. Excellent. On the couch. It's on there for a second. Chachi, how so, you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, when Rob was trying to get your attention in the background and yeah. was peeking over your shoulder there was one point where he stopped and his mouth was open and it looked like he was trying to talk into the microphone that's over <laughs> by that monitor <laughs> Wait, you like this 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 mo- yeah it is actually i just put this right in front of him <laughs> there, he there, he there, yeah. there you go Fantastic. Wow. It's my own personal microphone. That's nice. There you go. Yeah. You do. It looks like you're talking into that microphone. So it, it works I'll, just, out. I'll just move over here. It's okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was, <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm, I move away from the mic to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that on the wrestling show now. Uh, Chachi, drinking your monster. Hi. Sorry. Uh, so you've been, uh, you, you got into the Nintendo or, or is the Mario leg? It's Mario week for you. It's Mario week. That's right. Yeah. Yes. So it's all Mario all week. Yes, Chachi says dot net. Yes. And um, do you want to talk to uh, mention about no. your experience with that one thing? What one thing? The My thing you PSP? were showing me upstairs. Yeah, you got a PSP. You took the dive into your a- anti Sony territory to pick up a PSP. Yeah. 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 Now, I mean, you are. I modded it. You modded it. Well, soft modded it. You, I changed the software on it. Yeah. And so now I can do things to it that I couldn't do before. A disclaimer: it is, This is a family safe show, Chachi. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Disclaimer: modding, modding, and emulation is questionable gray area. Uh, depends on who you ask. Right. But for these purposes, you are. You know, I'm playing a thousand and one video games. <laughs> like, I don't have like, that listen, kind of money. You're breaking all the rules. I don't have that Just kind of money. Just by doing it. Yeah. 
I just don't. By, just by playing. Here, here, hold it up for a visual. Just by playing that many video games. Show how thick it is. That many video games. Yeah, I don't have the money to buy this many video games. Thousand and one video games. That's a lot of video games. But yes. you said I will get my hands on it. So I will lend, scrape, borrow. Uh, Justin TV is black. Nightwalk, whatever. Um, Justin TV. And we're, is black. I'm working on it. Okay. So, but uh, Ch- Chachi yeah. says that I have to see what's going on there. Yes. So we're uh, today. I did Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. Nice. Which has a different name depending on where you live. Like Super Mario Two in Japan. Yes. Super Mario Two in Japan. Um. What's it listed as in the book? It's and, Super Mario Brothers: The Lost. So it's the American yeah. name, but they probably mentioned the history. Yeah, which didn't come out here until two thousand three, or right. no, no, two thousand seven. I'm sorry, two thousand seven. In case you were the Lost two, Levels. Uh huh. That's not right. Yes, it is. That's that's not what, right. Yes, it is. What no. device was it for? That's it was right. It's uh, it was part of the Mario All Stars group. No, it wasn't. Oh, uh, that was a remake. <clears throat> Uh, oh, but, uh, the original! The original was gotcha. June 3rd, 1986. Well, no, original... that was in Japan. In America. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. They, they released it on Virtual Console, I take it? Yes. Nice. Good. Good stumper, man. I told you. Good stumper. You tried arguing with me. I know what I'm talking about. He's so got a book, man. He, he does... Actually, I'm not, no, sure that, book. I'm not sure that information is in the book, honestly. Yeah, that was, uh, that was part of your research for your pr- big project. Yeah. But yeah, it came out here in 2007 for the first time. Excellent. Yes. Also on the couch with them. Hold on, I got a new switcher. Hey, it's Chilla. Chilla. Hey, how's it going? John Chichilla. Join us at Chilla on Twitter. Uh, senior systems engineer for a mysterious company in uh, in the Gold Triangle. Uh, how you doing <laughs> since we've lost? Chilla. Eh, not too bad. Still doing the old iPad thing, looking at more tablets. Yay. Yep, yep. The, hopefully there's no more BlackBerry tablet to be seen. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to have to deal with that. I heard that. I was reading a thing on the airplane the other day that said that uh, the BlackBerry playbook didn't have email. Is that true? Well, you have to be tethered to your BlackBerry phone. Oh. That's and really then you'll get, weird. And then it streams the email from your phone, and once your phone gets to more, I think, than nine feet away from your playbook, it disappears off the, off the playbook. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> but you can get you can get your Gmail or anything that's web based. It just won't get your corporate mail. That's a really weird way to sell more Blackberries. Yeah, it's not working. No, no not at all. No. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> not not only that, it's not working to sell the playbook either. <laughs> well, they've they, they've officially discontinued. It's Wi-Fi not a, one. They're talking about it. It's, okay, it's not official. They're okay. saying they're slowing down the the creation okay. or production, which because they're just sitting there collecting dust. Right? Yes. So wait, show up that shirt there. I mean, you, so, you're little, you're little bunched up. I, I think say that, no to kryptonite. Say no to kryptonite. I figured, I figured it's, that it's bad there for you. Appreciate that. It's bad for you. It's poison. <laughs> I mean, you see what they did on Smellville. Come on, Smellville, <laughs> Smellville, 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 Melville. Melville. I don't know what's up. <laughs> what are you talking um, anyways, about? Anyways, hey, yo, you if Melville? if you want to correct, yeah. uh, uh, you are fired. If you think Chachi's full of full of BS on that uh, Lost Levels thing, you can disagree at contact at awesomecast.com, 724-25-ACAST. Wait, what's there That's to a... disagree about? <laughs> I'm just saying some people may still disagree, and I'm giving them an opportunity to do it. There's nothing to disagree if about. Wanna, if you want to irrationally disagree with Shachi, yeah, irra- this is how you can do irrationally it. Irrationally is right. Yes. <laughs> yes. You can also j- join us live and tell him in person in the chat room at uh, sorgatronmedia.com right. every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Also on Twitter at AwesomeCast. He's at Chachi Says if you want to get at him. Uh, also, you can contact us at AwesomeCast. Wait, I already said that part. I'm, I'm rounding about because the information so, is duplicated. Number. And you can find phone us number. on. I, I said that already. You didn't. Yeah, I did. You didn't. Yeah, I did. They didn't. Well, it's on the screen. Okay. Um, <laughs> also available on iTunes, MediaFly, Roku, Blip TV, and YouTube, of course. Yeah, Did they... somebody just unplug their USB device? I have no idea. That's that's Windows. I'm going to turn okay, that's, that's Windows. I'm going to turn <clears throat> the rest of these knobs and make sure that doesn't happen but, yeah. anymore. Hi. They yes. Can't, they can't uh, argue what? with me. Wait, they, 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 well, they can. They can. Well, they can. They shouldn't. The An argument wrong. doesn't need to be valid for it to take. <laughs> that is true. This is true. All right, Chachi, Mr. Gamehead, I got a Mr. Game. What the hell? Um, what do you think about your uh, next Xbox running Windows? My next Xbox running Windows. Yes. Yeah, I don't know about that. 
You don't know about that? According to the no. news I heard this week, uh, news I heard this week, I heard it on the webs. Um, <laughs> Xbox 360 pops up in uh, Windows 8 code, console game compatibility coming to the PC, question mark? This is kind of the rumor from the code. It's like uh, Bleem. Seen. Bleem? <laughs> wow, oh, yeah. you dropped the Bleem? <laughs> Wow. I did. Remind wow. people what Bleem was. It was that CD that you put into your computer. It was wow. basically it was basically a uh, a PlayStation One emulator. Mm-hmm. Holy cow! Computer. That's like a for flashback for your yeah. PC. Holy you just crap. got hit in the head with that. I this had that man. I know. Yeah, I had it. I had it as well. Who didn't have that? I mean, it was the greatest because it was like you had graphics to your your PlayStation One games. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So I mean, it, it, they're just taking out the extra step. I had that in. The, I had a Dreamcast emulator. And it's funny because they put yeah, Bleemcast. That's right. Mm-hmm. They put the code in this article, but they erased everything they didn't want you to see. What do you think it could be part of Windows Live and and the the live that's, stuff they're already including in Windows? That's what they're doing. They're putting Xbox Live into Windows Eight. Yeah. So it's but that, that they already have. Right. Okay. Yeah. So they're doing what nothing if? new. I, yeah. No. <laughs> I've got a what if for you. There are, basically, what they're doing is they're going to put an icon on your desktop when Windows is installed that will automatically take you to where you were going before. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, go ahead, Rob. Uh, so what if? Because we're seeing uh, a lot of the you know the whole desktop metaphor is disappearing and everything goes into mobile and iCloud and Lion is going to look a whole lot more like your iPhone and stuff like that. Which is cool, by the way. Which is cool. Um, what if in the... Sorry, my cat is going nuts. I'm so guard. You can hear that? <laughs> yes. Is he attacking a box? No, it's like one of those little, like, there's a ball in a channel thing in, like, a circle, and you hit the ball and it runs around. Anyways. Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> um, anyway, so what if in the... Not every time I start talking, it does it. <laughs> Here, here, show it this Windows code and maybe it'll stop. Stop. <laughs> wow, it worked. Well, there's, yeah, there's the code. It uh, says, so anyway, uh, what if uh, the Windows desktop of the not so distant future is um, instead of saying that um, the Xbox 360 interface is coming to the desktop? What if the desktop is coming to the Xbox 360 and your desktop Ooh. will no longer exist? That makes more sense. Well, they're, but they're showing they're showing Windows 8 pieces that Windows 8 is gonna mo- or is gonna look like the Windows Phone interface with the tiles and the panels. Yeah, which is so the whole the idea is that the desktop metaphor disappears as we become yeah. more mobile things. So it's not too crazy to consider that maybe in the future you're gonna have a connect on your Xbox, whatever they're gonna call it, which is your like home connectivity system not your home computer and something can be said for the design you know mm-hmm. i mean we've all seen the windows 8 stuff and and uh what's i think did they release a little bit of new design for uh the next xbox 360 interface yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's like looks, a flatter thing yeah. it's, it's it's more a two in the connect <clears throat> it's not too much different it's a very squared interface they are kind of meeting somewhere so I think it's very possible they could be joining those together. I mean, doesn't, but still, doesn't the X, Xbox run on a a a, a kernel of uh, of Windows at some point? See, I would guess it runs at least embedded. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, because that that was one of the big things about the first one. But um, yeah, I, I agree with Rob in this instance. It, it's not a matter of uh, Xbox going to Windows. I, I, they're they're doing it the other way. So it, it's Windows not, going to Xbox. I'm not going to be able to play Halo Four, put my disc into Windows. Like no. that's what people are like. I can play my Xbox games on no, Windows no Eight. That would be awesome. No freaking way. I I think it would be if, a really cool. If thing they do to anything do. like that, it's going to be a lot like Steam. Yeah. 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 And, well, and it'll be horrible for them to do it because you got to think they're already designed the stuff <laughs> for that main hardware of Xbox, and now it's now that. You know, what are they going to have to beta test all their Xbox games on PCs? Nobody will develop for it. No, not at all. Yeah. It's it's the Android problem. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. Because you're going to have there's too many variables. You can't actually bug test for it. No, because yeah. Yeah. you don't know what hardware they they would have to test for every possible combination. Yeah, I mean, one of the not reasons putting that in the, the man hours that, for that. Yeah, that the console gaming thing works above PC gaming is that you don't. When you have a PC, you pick up a game and you have to flip it over and look at the system requirements. Much like, much like for the iOS, you have like what you know, uh, uh, subtle variations, but pretty much the same devices. 
mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm developing for, for, you know, the iPhone 4 versus 3 or the iPad 2 versus 1, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it narrows it down a good bit. And it, they would definitely have trouble if they went, went over that way. Yeah, no, so, by doing it Windows 2, Xbox, mm-hmm. you have one set of hardware that you have to worry about. Yeah. It is exactly, well, not exactly the same because of hard drive sizes, it's, but it is yeah, basically yeah. the same. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you, it's only one more device you're testing for when you're already doing that that range of things for a PC. That's right. Well, if so. if they do that, do you see them getting into the PC hardware market, making your Xbox some kind of PC? The reason I ask is they're talking about opening, they're they're expediting opening 75 Microsoft stores, mm-hmm. like the Apple Store. And what are they going to sell? <laughs> If well, they're if they're going to open up Microsoft stores, then chances are they're already planning on doing hardware. Yeah, you because know, I mean, you, no, go ahead. Sorry, I, I don't think isn't that that's necessarily the case. Because I mean, my, just because it's a Microsoft store doesn't mean everything has to be Microsoft. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there are currently Microsoft stores, yeah, don't they? Sell I mean, like mostly HP components and mobile devices. And everything things. runs Microsoft is the yeah. difference. You know, I mean, your phones are, are are made by other people running Microsoft. Your PCs are ma- made by other things running Microsoft. Microsoft. Uh, uh, the Ford Sync is made by somebody else running Microsoft software. You know, I mean, that's just that's not, they don't have that ecosystem and just, you know, their name is still going to be on a product even though it rolled off a Samsung assembly line. Mm-hmm. So I, I think people thinking like this, oh, they're just going to start doing all their own hardware. I don't think that's what this this, uh, this says at all. But if, you, but if you took the 360, I mean, you now have the Microsoft Cloud stuff, you have Office, mm-hmm. you have everything that's in the cloud mm-hmm. yeah. throw on a browser and right. you have a bare bones PC. So I mean, this yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, for most people, when you're not gaming, your Xbox 360 is sitting around. Then you're using whatever mobile device you have or your desktop. And for most people, a web browser and the ability to send an email is good enough. And you can absolutely do that on the current Xbox 360 hardware. It's just not a feature. Mm-hmm. So, so much like uh, Xbox has already been kind of a Trojan horse, uh, bringing a media center into a lot of our homes. You know, that's that's happened with me. I'm definitely watching more Netflix and Hulu Plus. Than anything else on that thing, I was I was part I of mean, one of their their betas, and actually in the system panel there was IPTV. It went away when when they went live, but there was an actual IPTV in Microsoft. They you, are still talking. It didn't about it that. didn't do anything. There yeah. was there was nothing behind the panel, but it was there. Is that you? Yeah, it was me. What are you <laughs> I, thinking? Like water droplets. I I have your iPad holder up, and the the strings attached to. The uh, stand are taut, so if you hit it just right. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to be doing that like all the time. Okay, I, I don't even know if that's being picked up on the on the microphone. It, is, it, it is. is. Okay, you're getting it. Okay. Sorry. I, okay. I, I I tried to stop myself from doing it, and then I kept doing it without realizing. What the hell are we talking about? <laughs> you're gonna shoot your eye out. We were talking about Xbox. We're talking about the Xbox. Yes. Well, and, Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, but. Uh, it could be it could be like that you know instead of making another device like an Apple TV it's well you kind of already have the soccer there guys you know they're already writing Windows stuff for other other uh, you know processors I mean that's an, what an IBM processor in the Xbox mm-hmm. you know something is it akin to what the Apple used when to they're have? using ARM I think they're going to use ARM processors in their new tablet line really yeah yeah okay so, that makes sense I. Yeah, I mean they're they're already writing it for multiple and a lot, chipsets. A lot has to be. I mean, when I don't know how much we talked about Windows Eight on here, but it really, much like Windows Seven was finally like Windows Vista done right. Like this seems like finally, uh, it was interesting how that design came from their phone first, and it looks like it's coming to the desktop. And there's finally going to be like a commonality amongst everything. So, so they're following the Apple model. But don't they have to? Yeah, I mean, Apple is definitely setting the trend. I'm, I want to see someone come up with something new. But they're squares, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you got me there. They're squares. <laughs> they're squares. But you look what, at all these companies, and they're just mimicking everything. If you want to if you mm-hmm. want to be out in front, you mm-hmm. can't be a follower. You well, have to be a leader. It's going to be a while before somebody makes such a big dynamic change in the industry like like i mean the iphone changed everything let's be honest we had flip phones we had really crappy windows drop down wannabe phones you know the tilter you know whatever mm-hmm. uh and the iphone came out it's like hey look we don't need a keyboard hey look we can do this hello apps yes there's the programs you guys have been downloading this whole time on your phones and all that stuff and they're really just programs and all that but look it's pretty yeah. you know i and mean it's easy to get to. they made it cool you know they made it cool they made it easy they made it so 
you know, you don't have to worry about it. And now everybody's playing catch up. You know, you now Android's doing very well. I'm not saying anything against that. I, I thought you were coming at me. No. <laughs> I'll be interested to see an app store on Ooh, Apple right. TV. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. because if if you look if 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 Microsoft wanted to do it right, you take the marketplace, you put it in the PC, you put it in the Xbox, you have it on your phone, then you just and this I I wish Apple would catch up in that realm with Apple TV. Mm-hmm. Give mm-hmm. me an app store. Give me give me more apps for my TV, and let that converge. Although now you can mirror your iPad on the end. and I think that's going to be huge in the business. That video, it, we, I could I could see yeah. us putting one of those in every one of our conference rooms because now all our execs can give a presentation. Wow, you don't have mm-hmm. to worry about did I my MacBooks here? Do I have the right dongle for it? Exactly, you know, or it's a VGA. Um, why do I have an HDMI port on my laptop? You know, how does this work? When I gave a presentation yeah, yeah. two weeks ago on the iPad. And I had the dongle off the iPad. And so I had five feet mm-hmm. that I could walk from the projector. Mm-hmm. And it was a pain in the butt. Mm-hmm. Which is it's still a dongle problem you <laughs> it's, have? Yeah, it's still a, yeah, I have the a dongle, dongle problem. problem. Ooh. <laughs> Should see somebody in that. Yeah. <laughs> Should definitely get that looked at. Um, but uh, yeah, at this point, I think because uh, I've been really, really championing the idea of having apps on the Apple TV, but the hole in that equation is how are you going to control those apps? And when you're mirroring the iPad, that's not a problem anymore. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that. And I also recently downloaded an app that allows me to actually remote control my keyboard and my mouse on Windows and Mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I use those all the time. Which Mm -hmm. is great. So I don't need... Because the the Wi-Fi or um, the transmitter and the wireless keyboard and mouse I have doesn't go far enough to get to the coffee table. Now I have Wi-Fi. Some people complained that it wasn't fast enough and it lagged, but mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. it must. That's... I have I have zero issues scrolling around, clicking, and typing. That's what I use uh, again. I mesh the laptop under the TV that I watch everything that's on the Xbox. That's what I use. Is one of those like the iPhone thing. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, because I, I bought the keyboard and mouse, and he always had the position it right. It was only so far from the TV, and our you know our, our room's a little longer than wider, and and uh, it just you know never really worked out. So it's just gosh, ah, just pull up the iPhone. There you go. It's really nice for that. Yeah, it works great. Yeah. Uh, so, speaking, uh, uh, go ahead, Chachi. Apple reported a 82% gain in sales this year. <laughs> this, oh, oh, this quarter, isn't this, it? Or is it this year? This, it was this quarter, I think. Uh, it says year. Is it year? 82% gain on the year before. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 80, 82% gain on the year prior. And last year, they reported 80% <laughs> yes. gain on the year prior to that. So, yeah, they're averaging about an 80% increase <laughs> in sales was... each year. I think it, it uh, uh, somebody said that they have more money than a lot of small countries right now. Yeah. In the bank, which yep. is, which is different. And, and, and you know, Apple they, is a small country now. Apple, Apple can, yeah, they could be, they could, they could kind of uh, annex out, uh, Cupertino, uh, <laughs> the nation isle of Cupertino. Isle? It's an island. I don't know. Yes. Uh, well, they're going to have a spaceship soon, so why not? Um, well, that's but, nothing new. But not very few companies have this much cash on hand like these guys do. Yeah, that's yeah. why they're they doing such. Sick that's why they're money. doing like everybody's like, well, it's five hundred dollars for an iPad. It's like, yeah, and that's why everybody else is doing less with that same price point because they don't have the leverage these guys have right now. Right. And the other thing is that like you look at you look at a lot of the big players right now, like Facebook, valued at like over a hundred billion dollars or something stupid like that. Compared to um, that's valued though that's not cash yeah, on hand right but there's there's a lot of people saying like oh there's a very big tech bubble right now but what I'm saying is that like Apple is one of the only companies if not the only company that has an incredibly huge value and it's not a bubble they're actually just selling physical things for money which is which yeah which isn't like LinkedIn that's like yes we're this big social network that's really a uh, resume system for everybody. Um, it's actually uh, there's a yeah there's physical stuff coming off an assembly line and they're getting sold and they're not you know what we were talking about before the show the iPads finally taken two days for shipments, mm-hmm. which is unheard of because it's the ban- demand has been so high even that so many months after it's released. Because a lot of people compare um, Apple and Google. I mean you look at ridiculous tech. Uh, tech so stocks different. and it's apple versus google but realistically it's not apple versus google because google is a victim of uh the bubble mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And apple is not apple is still cash in hand physical goods business and google is an evaluation based on how many ads they can push out in a year 
Yeah, I, I, and we're comparing, you know, Microsoft to it. Microsoft, okay, they sell an Xbox, whatever. They're a software company. Yeah, at yeah. the base, they're a software company. Google's an advertising company at, at its base, no matter if we're socializing on it, using its email, chasing its Google cars. Um, cool. You know, and, and, and Apple Google is the cars. only one making and hinging on a solid physical product. Right. The, the thing that really makes me question Microsoft is because... <laughs> They're, 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 the thing? There's only one thing? There's only one <laughs> wow. thing that makes you question the One of many things. Steve Ballmer. The, no, the, the, <laughs> they're, they're, they're licensed sales. They're, okay. Their OS is licensed yeah. to, the, to the vendor or the creator of the phone, so HTC. HTC pays for the license. They sold a license. Then it sits on a shelf that no one buys. Yep. You look at Windows 7, the company I work for, 63,000 computers... All came with a Windows 7 license, but none of them run Windows 7. They're all still back on XP. Ours wow. too. So they they have this. So if anybody <laughs> has a bubble, it's Microsoft because they didn't. Nobody's using the stuff they sold. Right. That's because we're grand, cause we're grandfathered in. We can use an XP on the Windows 7 license. Uh huh. So there's sixty three thousand computers right there that are. That are a Windows 7 license. When, 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 but air it's, quotes. Air it's quotes. XP. <laughs> the, Windows, the problem, Windows 7. Yeah, see, yeah. The, the problem with Microsoft is, though, it, they're pushing out their latest software mm -hmm. to a sector that can't use their latest software because the rest of their softwares can't keep up. Wait, break that down for me. Okay, so... Like Chilla, my firm, mm -hmm. uh, about 25,000 computers. Okay. Jeez. That all came with Windows 7. <laughs> my, I, I, I'm sorry. I haven't worked in a company that had more than 15 people. And this sorry. Like blows my mind. But um, you know? so, all, all the personally. computers came with Windows 7. Mm -hmm. None of them have. Win I'm sorry. One of them has Windows 7 because we use that for testing. And the reason for that is, is because none of the other software we use is compatible with Windows 7 yet. Yeah, uh, after all these years. I mean, it's been right. out. Right. How long is 7 well, Windows 8 coming out in the, in the spring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the spring. And, and how much has 7 been out? Two or three years? It's been two, I think two years. Yeah. Two and a half? Something like that? I mean... Well, they, it came yeah. out pretty quick after Vista. It did. It did. But still, I mean, you're not you're not even caught up to that. Right, but I mean, and nobody wants to run Vista. And then you have a company like Apple that has the software mm -hmm. to go with the hardware. Mm -hmm. They all do that. I mean, they do that all, and it's one push. Success through proprietary development. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's one push. That's why Apple has this money. And they don't have any of the problems because if they have problems, they throw money at it. And no, and, and, and they're very, they're very meticulous, and it seems to be paying off. I'm sorry, there's an ad running on Justin TV, I, and you're right, they, sure. they, they don't let you mute it anymore. I am um, pretty sure. There we go. That deep within Apple's campus, they have a swimming pool that's just filled <laughs> with money. Uh, Scrooge and, McDuck style. Yes, because yeah. they have so much of it. They're like, you know what? Just swimming in the pool of money. Us in the pool. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know what else? Where else they're using uh, uh, smartphones, guys? Army. Uh, the Army. Yeah. Really? Uh, U.S. Army run smartphone trial. Could see limited de deployment later this year. Didn't uh, we already... Uh, I talked about this like 15 episodes ago. No, you didn't. Because I just I, saw it on my stream. It legitimately did. did. I don't think you did. I can't, I can't click on the link. Yeah, that's broken. That's broken. Yeah, that's... whoever put the links in this week uh, <sighs> didn't do so well. He was in a hurry, man. We talked about how uh, I think it was an HTC device that they went with. They made a decision for what device they were oh, did they? We okay. did talk about this like 15 episodes ago. Well, I don't listen to this show either, so there you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um... So the update is limited deployment later this year. Okay. Now they're still having uh, any security trouble. They're not going to be able to deploy this overseas uh, because of, because of security. But okay. 
Boom. Right. There you go. There's your update. Moving okay. on. Um, <laughs> I sent this out earlier. Uh, and uh, Chella, you had you had some stuff about this. I don't know if you can talk about it here. Which uh, the uh, the app deployment within companies. <clears throat> so yeah, so, well, explain what happened. We're actually working on de- actually setting up our own internal corporate app store. Mm-hmm. All the apps will be developed inside the company which I work for. Ooh. Um, Mysterious Company X. Yes, and yes. we will be able to actually. Because Apple believes in an opt-in philosophy, we will be able to send you a button that you are have to click install on to get away from the screen. <laughs> so you're opting in, but you'll you'll get all of our corporate apps. Plus, we can monitor mm-hmm. your non-corporate apps. We can create blacklisting. So if you mm-hmm. install Angry Birds, we auto wipe your device. Mm-hmm. Things like that. But it, it it's going to be huge for us to be able to push out our own internal apps for sales, for marketing, mm-hmm. different areas. It looks like also volume uh, purchasing for businesses as well. Yes. So you can give everybody Angry Birds Yes. when you want to. Everyone. Yeah. Everybody. And that'll be nice. That, that'll be nice to think for things like Docs to go. We've already talked about using that methodology, mm-hmm. purchasing a large number of licenses, and then just giving everyone Docs to go. Which is a, a pain on BlackBerry. Uh, explain. Well, it's not even that good on iPad. Explain. No, explain. no I mean pushing out. Oh. Oh, okay. N- not. I mean, it's just a pain on BlackBerry. What, what's so the, the fact what's, that what's this the method is, for, for? Oh, that. it's the same thing. Okay. It's just not as reliable. Okay. okay. I mean, that's all there is to we it. Just, it just doesn't work. Yeah. We push one app on BlackBerry, and it's not developed in house. The app is a public, um, instant messaging client for our internal network. Mm-hmm. Um, it works okay. Sometimes you'll get it, sometimes you won't. Sometimes yeah. you got to turn off and on the device. My, the, the new fix for most unplug of our Blackberries from, is... Un- unplug actually, it from the wall. Uh, well, no, most of the fixes now is is that, oh, it's my Blackberry is acting weird. Well, did you try pulling the battery out of it? Yeah. Oh, Not wow. even turning so it, is, it off and on. So it is unplugging it from the wall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, gotcha. Well, I mean, that's that's a rim suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> that's not That's not an IT... Like it's not an IT made, yeah. made up workaround. This no, is their suggestion. This, okay, it suggested that you reboot the black or you pull the ba- BlackBerry battery once every twenty four to forty eight hours. And the one interesting thing is, is they really have problems coming on and off of planes. <sighs> yeah, yeah. When when it ha- when when a phone has to switch its cell tower, it's yep. like you might as, you have you pretty much have to pull the battery. Yes. Even if you put your phone in airplane, their version of airplane mode, when you get on. When you get off and you turn back on your device, it has no clue how to connect back to its network. Hmm. And it's pull the battery, put it back in. Thanks. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why everybody was getting iPhones before you supported it. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, update. Uh, just because I looked. And then you know, we we're talking about phones anyways. Google Plus is uh, findable on search right now Ooh. on the App Store. I know we were saying we we're having oh, yeah. little problems. It came out today. And I'm installing it right now. Has anybody played with this on the iPhone side yet? Oh, wow. I totally forgot. I had, uh, because I have <laughs> iOS 5. Oh, yes. I was able to click on my computer that was not tethered to my phone <laughs> and buy the application. And then it magically appeared on my phone. That's funny. Yes. It's a, yes. It's a magical device. It is a magical, magical device. But I never actually logged into it. So, no, I haven't tried well, it. Well, I think, it, is it on your iPad with the beta? Uh, or is it on your app. phone? on my phone okay because on the ipad it crashes in ios 5 beta 3 that's you that's the uh t-mobile device no it's not no oh it's oh. not oh there we go it's not mine there we go uh what? maybe it is i think it might be no, can are you pointing by the cord no it's in my pocket now wow it's not as, me. as you move yours it it's happening i have no idea it's not me Maybe it's my phone. Is it your? It... Yep. Oh, <laughs> yep, it's you. Wow. Okay. Wait, wait, oh, we're, we're all going insane. Way to like, blame going me. Going like with this with our phones. Oh no, that's right. Chilla has T-Mobile. I too. have T-Mobile too. Oh. So. Yeah. What? It doesn't happen with AT and T phones. No, it really you, doesn't. You know what? It Not it's very really often. popped up more with T-Mobile. I haven't had much. I've had my phone on me when I've I've gone and filmed stuff and forgot to shut it off and gotten texts in the middle of shoes. Be like, oh crap, it's still on. Monitoring it. Never comes up. Hmm, cool. Never comes up. So, 
Yeah, I, I don't know if they, you know, they're on a little bit of a different frequency. Maybe that has something to do with it. Let's see. Oh, circles. Get started with Google+. Plus. <laughs> yeah, well, there's another interesting thing that Circle takes with the Google+. Plus. Now, I started a Sorgatron Media account because I'm like, oh, let's see what we can do with this. Have something that represents the company. You know, you're not supposed to do a business on uh, Google+. Plus. No, not yet. Not I found to. out that the hard way. You know, and the funny thing is, I'm sure they wouldn't have said anything if I didn't register my company with them to try to get the business pages. Because so how did they? You, did they like send you a warning email, or did they this, didn't send me a show up? Or I what? tried. Lo- I tried logging in. It wouldn't let me post anything. I went to the profile page and says, "Oh yeah, you've been suspended." Um, what? The profile is still there. It's just I was suspended from using Google Plus for the time. It what didn't say for the time being or anything. It says I I violated the community stuff. And I looked through it. It was all like hate speech and all this other stuff. I'm like, well, we didn't do any of that or uh, misrepresenting yourself. But then somebody said, look, you know, look, it says businesses, no businesses yet. I'm like, oh, okay. Hmm. So there you go. Well, hopefully they let me get it when they they start doing business pages. But like I said. It uh they they uh, uh, uh Father Spoon uh, Douglas Durler who's been on the show back on uh, episode fifty I think uh, he sent me that the sign up for when they start rolling out the business side of Google Plus yeah. uh, so I applied for that I should gave him my personal account I gave can you can you send me a link to that nope. I will have to go find it okay. um, remind remind me after the show sir actually I'll put yeah. in the notes put in the notes okay. um and for anybody who's curious it doesn't really work in iOS five. <laughs> <laughs> works it crashes great. quite a bit. There you <laughs> so, go. Um, works great on my Google phone. So I'll test it out. Well, yeah, you're also not running a beta. It doesn't yeah. work that great on the Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, and hey. my Palm Trio is just not compatible with Google Plus. <laughs> How is the Zoom going? You said there was an update. This there week. was an update. I can use my SD card. No Yay. one has written an app to utilize it, and it's... and and the Get Glue update. Uh, no. Oh, no, 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 it still doesn't work. No dice. <clears throat> the no, weird no. thing is, is they gave you this new, new, um, shrink and expand, so you can supposedly shrink the screen back to the normal Android size. Yeah, that doesn't always work. Kind of, kind of like the the two times on. Uh, uh, yeah, but you two- know what it does? Huh. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work. I love yeah. it. Not nothing happens when I hit it. Huh. Uh, I don't know if they ha- maybe they have to change something in their app to That's utilize great. that. I don't. I don't know. You know Are you curious what Chachi's doing so nothing. intently on the iPad? He's playing NBA Jam. Not doing anything. There he is. Talk. And I'm still having a conversation with you two. Yes, you are. So, yes, you are. You three. I forgot about Rob. <laughs> Sorry, oh, well, Rob. I need to forget. There you go. But, um, hey, you Chachi. Update in the, uh, from the chat room from last week. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Hot Wheels still likes his Galaxy Tab. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you I, also wait. enjoy punching yourself in the face every day you get you wake up? Me? Which is the Gal- this Galaxy Tab, is that running? What What is that running? Is that running Honeycomb? Yeah. I think so. Honeycomb. I think so. I think oh, so. I like honeycombs. The, the original, was the seven-inch Samsung the, tab. The, that was the tab. The original Samsung. Tab. Okay, the some Samsung tab. Maybe it was, that, I, like I think Galaxy. that's still running. That was pretty much a giant cell phone. Yeah. Right. Yes. Without the phone. Yeah. 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 Everything was stretched out. It was. It was. It was kind of rough. It, it was, was? kind of rough. We played with it for a little bit can, in, the, in the Verizon store. Hey, Hot uh, Wheels. Can he run Get Glue? I wanted to <laughs> punch myself in the the face. Yeah. From I touching guess. the uh, Samsung tab. Yeah, and then he went and played with the. Uh, you, you went and played with the uh, iPad. Yeah, I played with the iPad for the next twenty minutes while we were in there. <laughs> Fantastic! Hey, I, am, I, I had to cleanse my fingers hey, and Chachi, eyeballs. Yeah, Chachi, you want to huddle with me right now? Oh, oh yeah, that's a thing. We can I, we can huddle. Oh, look, hey, look, Eric, uh, uh, Hot Wheels from the chat room says hi, Sorg from the from the galaxy. LOL. <laughs> but, but I, uh, it says let's huddle. Mm. Are you, are you I tried huddle? to huddle with you before, but you wouldn't. Wow. There's a there's a website now that keeps track of all public open huddles. I yeah. sent that you. Sounds dirty. <laughs> that really sounds dirty. When I first got the uh, when I first got the app, I sent you a huddle. Yes, and I think I'm about to respond to it now. <laughs> this and huddle. There's, there's like one thing I can do on the on the app on the in the beta. Like I can't open my stream. I can't open my profile. I can't look at. I can look at circles and I can look at huddle, but I can't do anything else. <laughs> and for the phone, it's just text messaging without using the text messaging. But it's text messaging like five people at once. Yeah, I know. Which and is like, even better. I don't know. It works out pretty good. <clears throat> it's, group uh, text messaging. It's a little bit spiffier than... Uh, practice safe group texting, everybody. Oh, I can't even... <sighs> this isn't going to work. Um, there you go. 
it's it, it, it's Google Plus on the phone now. Exposure evaluation, Mike. Yeah, I know. I know. Exposure there evaluation. Um, Bingo. You hear there's like 10 million people on Google Plus? Yahtzee. Yeah, that happened in, uh, what was it, like a week and a half? Yeah, that doesn't yeah, surprise me. That's incredible. That's yeah. incredible. And, that, and it's still in the limited invite-only beta. Yeah. <laughs> that's so limited. That, yeah. I, you're, and you're noticing it, like like already you're seeing the uh, you know the I got the uh, watch free pay per views uh, WWE pay per views uh, guy adding me in. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we talked about that on the on the Twitters. I got a uh, a, a marketing guru expert self made billionaire. Yep, yep, it has arrived. And there's a thing that happens there. So the way that they display um like. Your um, I forget what they call it, but when you log into Google Plus, you look at somebody's profile on the left hand side below their picture or whatever. It says like people who are like related people or whatever. I guess people who they also have in a circle. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring that up. The way they word it, it's something that like your mom would say like, "Oh, this person is friends with Mike. I should totally add this person." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What What Rob said. (laughs) I thought you had more. Okay. No, no, that's no, it. It's, that's it's, it. That's it's it. Deceiving, deceiving. Okay. Sorry, yes. I was trying to load up some uh, profile stuff here. Yeah. To show off. Profile stuff. Um, but the computer's being really weird. There we go. Oh, here's what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So you got like the there's there's in my circle, there's uh have have. It's me, people in common. Has me in their circle. Oh, I need to go somebody else's profile. I just got your huddle. Let's go. Let's go to Hot Wheels. I hope he doesn't mind us showing him off publicly on. Uh, uh, I got your huddle. TV. You got my huddle. Yes. I, well, we know that works now. Yeah, people in common, which is kind of like what they have on Facebook, though. Right, but people in, like somebody who you don't know, it'll show people in common, and it'll show other people that they have put in their circle, not that those people have put them. Oh, in Oh, this circle. is interesting. Uh, here's a picture on Hot Wheels. Is uh. Uh, stream of him watching us on his laptop. Look at that. What's the whole concept of the whole spark thing? Uh, I looked at it for about 10 seconds and I got bored. I was like, I can just go Google. It's like uh, automatically um, uh, cultivated RSS feed for the most part. Okay. Yeah, yeah, basically. You, 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 you throw your interests in there and it'll start throwing those in there and you, and you have all your share buttons already attached to all the articles, um, stuff like that. So it's been interesting. We've been experimenting a good bit with... Uh, with uh, uh, the Google Plus for the wrestling crew, um, we've been doing Hangouts during Monday Night Raw. What? What's wrong, Chachi? <laughs> oh man! What? I got an email for the next show. That's uh, hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay. So speaking of which, um, <laughs> but no, we've been doing Hangouts for like Monday Night Raw, and, and you know, just bullshitting while we're wa- BSing while we're watching that. Um, and uh, we've been doing. Uh, when the pay-per-view happened, we had a big thread of comments, which was, yeah. was interesting. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. So, I mean, we tossed them up last week. It didn't work out so well. I hope we try something a little different this week. And, you know, hope, maybe we'll start integrating in this show, too, if things yeah. start working out. So, I mean, it's, sounds, a, it's a pretty cool platform. Sounds like fun and stuff. Hey, uh, hey, Mike, look at the doc. Look at the doc. Yeah. Okay. Look at the doc. Look at the doc. Oh, hey. You you want to tell us about this? Did you have you pl- played with this? Uh yeah yeah I have. Um, it's kind of a big news story. We just totally no, forgot. it isn't. It's kind of, I kind can't of a... use it on my phone unless I pay. Uh, uh, so Spotify, Spotify has been a big deal in the UK. For... I've used Spotify. Spotify is awesome. Wow, yeah, it's been a big deal. And now uh, in the US of A, you uh, it's still invite only, but um, you can do it or. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, AJ sent out a thing to uh, yeah. educate those of us who did not look into it. Yes, you might be able to, you know, go to some website on the internet and use a UK proxy to sign up, and then after the fact, log into the US version. Hey, did anybody else stumble upon that they have a clout uh, uh, account that they didn't know about? Because that's what, what I did. Because apparently I signed up for Cloud at some point. K L O U T. It oh. tells you how important you are for. Cloud. Oh yeah, yeah. I stumbled across well, that. Uh, somebody did a thing on Facebook to me on Cloud the other yeah, day. Yeah, that's how I got into it. But I haven't really played with the the Spotify yet. Yeah. Uh, so. um, so yeah, Spotify basic. is cool because it's basically like you. It'll scan your computer for music that you have, 
mm. and include that in your collection. And then you just any music you want to listen to for the most part. Yeah, that's the thing. I haven't lo- I haven't loaded on the my my computer with the iTunes yet. So and you can you can listen to pretty much anything, and you can share playlists, which is something that a lot of people are, are doing at the moment. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, and it seems to be if you're a fan of RDO, this mm-hmm. basically blows RDO out of the water and. I feel sorry for the audio guys because their business model just died. <laughs> Chachi, what do you got? The things that it does to Pandora mm-hmm. <laughs> is just wrong. The only difference I see is, oh, yeah, it's five bucks a month, or what, there's a $10 option, too? Yeah, and AJ's trying yeah. it out right now. Yeah, he said he was giving it a month. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious to see what he what he thinks of it in the long run. Uh, I know, uh, you know, you know that versus the $35 a year for Pandora. And, kind and of, the free version of this kind of is okay. uh, 20, 20 hours a week, I think. Twenty hours a week. Yeah. Twenty hours a week. Is there a is there a Pandora like thing built into it? I didn't even. Look. No, I what I meant is things I can't say on the show. Oh, okay. But as far as competition goes, mm-hmm. there well, what, there I is mean, none. What AJ? Oh, yeah? Well, I don't yeah. think so because what AJ and I have been saying is that the perfect uh, the perfect storm of this kind of stuff is something like Spotify or RDO combined with Pandora. Like, yes, I have my own curated collection of things that I like. And yes, I want people to send me recommendations and share links for playlists. I also want to be able to say, like, hey, I'm a fan of DJ Format. Show me things like DJ Format and play entire songs and, you know, let me learn about these different things. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm more interested in. I think that's why I'm leaning more towards Pandora, because what I've read about Spotify is like, okay, I'm paying you five, ten dollars a month to uh, uh, play back to me my own collection. Right. And so I mean, we're back to the uh, with, we're back to iCloud. Yeah, yeah. Which is twenty five dollars a year. That's more digestible, and it upgrades what I'm listening to. So exactly. I mean, no, that, you're not paying Spotify five bucks a month to play back what you already have. No, you're it's, paying it's, Spotify five bucks a month to play back what you already have, plus everything that anyone in the world on Spotify has updated. Okay, right, but okay. it doesn't aggregate that in like automatically. No, it's but Groove Shark is what it is. Uh, yeah. Which and what is, what is Groove Shark for those that don't know? Uh, Groove Shark is the thing where you type in an artist and you listen to the. Oh wait, it sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the same thing. Sorry, <laughs> it's Pandora. <laughs> yeah, well, Groove Shark. Uh, Groove Shark doesn't have the Pandora thing built into it. Oh, okay. Okay. No, it, I think it like does recommend things, but you can't say just like play a whole buttload of songs that are similar to this one article. Artist, it doesn't have the station thing that Pandora has, which is what I love so much. I mean, I'm a musician. I love music. I have a huge collection of music. But when I'm at work, I don't want to be like, no, I'm not in the mood for this song. Flip, 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 flip. I don't feel like listening to my Van Halen discography today. Flip, flip, flip. I'd rather be like, no, play things that I've never heard before that sound like Van Halen. Okay, okay. Um, Did you uh, see Rob that the service that you're loving so much lately is on the Nintendo 3DS Netflix? Oh. So angry right now. You're so angry. <laughs> <laughs> that, was like, that was an interesting reaction. <laughs> I prefer Spotify over Pandora. Oh, okay. Have you used I, Spotify? Put the button on it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I used uh, AJ's handy dandy little trick okay. to save. I actually got an invite. I haven't installed it yet. Oh, no. Yeah. I live in the UK. <clears throat> you live in the UK? <laughs> yeah. Obviously. At a McDonald's? By, by way of Pittsburgh. No, actually, it was the. Uh, the Top Gear test track. Yeah, the Top Gear test track. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. What? So anyway, uh, handheld 3D devices, that's a gimmick, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently you're going to be able to watch 3D Netflix movies on it very soon. Uh, as they've, they've released the Netflix service on Nintendo 3DS. Um, and it's Netflix on a portable that's not an iPhone. It's not good 3D. Like, there is good 3D available. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. But I mean... Not- it, it's it's you know what I I give the 3ds credit for being well if you want 3d without the gimmicky horrible to manage glasses you know they're not that gimmicky and they're I mean, not that horrible to manage is the thing really really no they're not I've I have uh, like four or five pairs at work of different brands and makes and stuff and they're all work. pretty are, nice are you gonna bring those into your home I, I would say say you're in money. In, 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 say you're, you know what? For how amazing it looks, especially if you have 
the money to buy like a 55 inch monitor. Okay. Yes, absolutely. You think it's worth it? You're 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 drinking the 3D Kool Aid right now. So I was. You know what happened was I saw uh, I had like the usual experience of like going to movie theater and be like, yes, this is cool. There are certain movies that it's great for, like Avatar and Tron, and there are certain movies that, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter, like uh, the uh, Green Hornet. Green Hornet. Yeah, Green yeah, Hornet. Yeah. Um, but when you are sitting like in a in like a private space, like your living room or in my case, my studio, uh, and you have a gigantic display and it's right in front of you, it is a completely different experience. It is <laughs> as immersive as Avatar was in the theaters. The lame French like 30 second sample that I have in the studio is 10 times as immersive and before I had seen that, I was like, oh, what? no way. Nobody wants these glasses, and this is all lame. After seeing that, absolutely. Is it like the NVIDIA demo was for the graphic cards were always cooler than the games that actually ran on it? You know, I've actually been working with the NVIDIA technology a lot, and it sucks <laughs> compared to this. Okay. This so what you're saying is as a glass wearer, you're willing to sit down in your living room and put these 3D glasses on over your glasses... Yes. So that you can successfully watch a 3D something. They actually make it so you can remove most of them, most of the ones I have anyway. They make it so you can remove the bridge piece. So when you put them on over your glasses, there's a little nub that sits on the uh, bridge of your glasses so they fit perfectly. Okay, so somebody better. is thinking about that. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, they really that's are putting good. thought into it. And the glasses that you can get, like the glasses aren't crazy expensive. The most expensive pair I have right now is like 150 bucks, and they're awful. The best yeah. pair I have is 50 bucks. Wow. Wow! See now, yeah, you know, and and you're helping to uh, uh, wave wave off the, the the fears I have, the the, the things I hear about, because it's always too, oh, you gotta get these bulky two hundred fifty dollar glasses and everything. So hey, I'm looking for a new TV. Yeah. Uh, I bought one already. No, no, I have not bought one yet. yet. Tell you, tell you like, uh, as long as as long as my no, stuff is set up. If you happen to swing by my end of the of the neck of the woods, I will be happy to show you the the amazingness of this Samsung display. Maybe, maybe I was only going to spend like five hundred bucks, but uh, I don't think I'm getting three D TV for that. Are there, no, are not there this kind of three D TV. <laughs> are there, there five hundred dollar three D TVs? Like, am I? Is it one of those I could just go ahead and then I have three D just in case I decide it's awesome? Is that even what? out there? No. No, no, I don't think so. No, yeah. no. No, I had a plasma TV and it looks like it went. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Um, seven years, more like six. Anyways, uh, sad. Um, my TV is 17 inches in my house, if you're curious. What's that? My TV that I have in my house. Yeah. Sitting in like 10 feet in front of me, it's a 17 inch Magna Box that I found in AJ's closet. <laughs> <laughs> See Tremendous. Um, yeah, mine's 26 inches and doubles as my computer monitor. Nice. Because I don't need a super huge TV like some people. Some people, some people are compensating. Some so, uh, so we talk about Windows Eight. There's a new. Uh, no one cares about Windows Eight. There's a new anymore. OS coming out tomorrow. No one cares about Windows Eight. Roar! No, because we got Lion. Yeah. Roar. No one cares about that either. Well, actually, it's moving kind of... on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the people that use Mac. Uh, I got to play with the Goldmaster uh, over the weekend. Threw it on the old iMac. That sounds dirty. That does okay. I got to play with the Gold what, Master. What's your What's your older Mac? Um, it's a, uh, 2007, uh, it's co- still Core Duo 2, um, core probably, two duo. probably 3 gigs of RAM, 2.1 megahertz. Uh, did, have you used right. it recently? 2.1 megahertz? Like, cause what I noticed is all my, all my equipment slowed down. When they tossed that on? When I tossed it on. Yeah. And then what I did notice is up in the upper right hand corner, the spotlight was indexing all of my drives that okay now i have like six drives um exactly okay now, i have i have four one terabyte drives and okay. then a whole array of a bunch of other crap. so that's something that might go away after a while i realized when i got up the next morning everything's a lot faster and reboot time and this whole the whole concept of i'm going to restart my computer now and it doesn't have to shut down any apps and then when i come back all it's my there. apps were where they were at. It's is there. awesome. Wow. Oh yeah, it's that same wow. state thing. Wow. Um, no, yeah, I installed it and I tinkered around with with a little bit while I was kind of working, and I threw Netflix on there. I noticed like Netflix would, or, or anything I was streaming would, I'd watch it for a while and it would just stop for like uh, you know thirty seconds and then keep going. And like, well, that's kind of weird. I hope it's not like a, a performance thing. Um, but now that I know that, that's probably it. So now, the one I'll, weird I'll thing is, I feel like my mouse is inverted. 
It is. It is. It defaults to invert your mouse. And how do you un uninvert it? You have to go in your mouse settings. Control and, and, panel. And you're talking about the scroll wheel? Yeah. Yeah. It, it says there's a there's a checkbox that says um, <clears throat> move the page the way that I move my finger, <laughs> which is opposite of how you've always thought about scroll wheels. What? It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like I you know I I set up a new MacBook for somebody last week and then you know that I have to turn on the right click. Seriously, after all these year, these years. I have to turn on a right click. We yeah. still think we can get away with one mouse button. Come on. Anyways, um, but the big thing, the big thing for me is my applications are actually organized now because it's the iOS setup. Yeah, right? it's the folders. It's like I'm used to this. Oh, I, I do this on my phone all the time. Oh, this makes sense now. You know, versus the whole application folder, and I didn't really feel like I wanted to mess with that since those are the programs. Mm -hmm. So it felt like a no man's land, like, you know, coming from, you know, program files or something on a Windows side. You know, it was, it's, it's not like that metaphor thing, like like a like a, a start menu is. This is, I think, a lot better. It takes over the whole screen, which, which is weird. Well, that's the what do they call it? Mission control. Mis yeah. Is that um, mission control or is that the other? No, launch pad. <clears throat> mission launch control pad. is basically what expose, expose. Can, becomes. Yeah. Instead of you having four corners of, uh, of, of spaces, it's a line. Okay. You, I haven't played with that yet. But instead, I just loaded it. Yesterday. Instead of me hitting, you know, uh, expose and, or not expose, uh, uh, the, you know, where the clock and calculator yeah. is, and it actually just moves over a screen and there's this, there's this blank slate with all those utilities on it, which I don't like so much. Because I, I would always like do my finances, bring up the calculator over top what I'm working on. There's some way, I'm sure it, you there's, can turn it off. There's, there's some way to bring out the widgets in expose onto your desktop so they really? never. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's some weird key combination, and then I'm you definitely the not in. a I'm definitely not a Mac OS like power user. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I I went over to it so I didn't have to be. Oh, so. did you see my new uh, my favorite new uh, keyboard shortcut in OS X today? Yes, I was playing with it and I, and I did it wrong and I went to the home page on Chrome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Alt Command was, H will hide everything except the application that you're that you're using. There you go. Then, cool welcome setup. to the Mac. Welcome to the awesome Mac Tip Show. That, uh, has what is the equivalent of break? Like on a on a PC, you have a, a key pause break, and in old school DOS, you could hit Control and break, and it would cancel like a batch file or whatever was processing. There is no break key on a Mac keyboard, and I can't figure out. And I haven't uh, my PC for work is now emulated on top of Windows, and there's stuff that I need to break out of, and I can't do it. What do you mean break? Do you, have a, do you have a Windows um, keyboard in front of you? No, I have a laptop. Uh, if you, I mean, like, I know the key, you, it, but what, I've never used the break key before. Right I, I, I use it for, like, breaking right out by, of... Right by the scroll lock key. Because that was yeah. useful, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, how would I... How does that translate? How would you... I, like, that's what he's well, the other... Exactly. Where where does it translate to? Well, I mean, is it is it, like, a force quit? What is break? What does it do? If you were running a script... Okay. It would it would kill whatever wherever it was in the script. It would break out of it. I, I think you go up to your your Apple menu. Is that right? Apple menu. It, it, is is that a? You can tell I'm not originally a Mackie. Um, and you hit force quit. I mean that's that seems like but, it, it but would that sense. quits the application. If I'm running an application that's running a script. Okay, I know what you're talking about because I have the same problem with compressor. God, we're getting geeky now. Because <laughs> uh, compressor, uh, I can Alt, start Alt right? F3. Alt F3. The word. Um, cool. Because I, I would default go... the break key is triggered with the Alt F3 combination. So if I hit Control Alt F3, maybe yeah. All right, all right. Um, I will try it. Yeah, because I I would always have to go into Hello. compressor because the process was always independent of you know me going in compressor and say convert this to an H.264 video. Mm -hmm. You know when when I do like the videos for this show that you're probably watching now. Um, it, no one's watching it, 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 it. I would actually have to go in and have a quit all processes in Compressor in order to find how to kill that script. Which, really, what it is, when you convert video on the Mac side, it's uh, you're using, like, FMPEG and stuff like that, like, you know, parts of the system. Mm -hmm. You know, it just it's basically just the interface and the tool that, that enacts that. Like Visual Hub. Like okay. take, or Video Monkey takes a piece of it. I know I said monkey. It might be Control-C as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm Control C and DOS, control, yeah, it's the same yeah. thing. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a Unix there. thing. I was trying to yeah. figure, I'm like, why can't I understand this? Oh, yeah, it's a Unix thing. Yeah, control C to, to yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> I had one last story here. I don't, wait, is this, are these the right commas? Am I seeing, what? yeah, okay, $1.3 billion EA pays for PopCap. Yes, billion. That's a lot of. That's a heck of a deal. Dollars. That's a lot of money for Peggle. No, that's a heck of a deal. What is PopCap valued at? That was a question. PopCap. <laughs> $1.3 billion, I guess. Let me uh, look at the, uh, <laughs> their, yeah, the revenue was over $100 million in 2010. That's revenue. This is the company that brought us Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah, so they're yeah. making yeah. money. Yeah. $1.3 billion seems like a good deal. It's a good deal. <laughs> it's no Zynga, but yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, Wait, hold on. Any, any other? The, what? Hold, hold, hold what? The what? You got another news item? Or... Look at the oh. look at these zeros. He's you said one point three billion. Yeah. Uh, Electronic Arts acquired PopCap for six hundred and fifty million with an additional hundred million dollar stock option. How about that? Then this is then uh, Touch Arcade is definitely wrong. Yeah, this is. Uh, a, uh, this is from Market Watch. That's okay. where I'm getting. Into. I would believe Market Watch over Touch Arcade then. Yeah. So yeah, that definitely wins. All right. Well, uh, I think that's all we have for this week, guys. Yeah, I think that's uh, let's, let's wrap it up. So Chilla, uh, what's going? Well, you're that's Chachi. That's what Chachi. What's going on with you? I don't know what he's even playing. Little Big Planet. Actually, I just started. I bought some web space out there. I'm probably going to start a blog. Oh yeah. That's why that host monster that I was telling you about. Check him out. Six okay. bucks. Unlimited space and unlimited bandwidth. Six bucks a month. What are you going to say? And about? moving. Uh, what, how's the domains? Because I'm looking for that. I can do multiple domains thing. Yeah, I have. Well, I bought one, but you can buy more than that. But I don't. I think it's more than six bucks. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, Rob, your your pick is uh, kind of winning out because uh, somebody locally said that they could they could beat me out, but they haven't got me a quote back in uh, almost a week. So, man, I want to oh, go local cool. with stuff, but. Yeah, okay. I wonder who owns Hostmaster because that's definitely a template. It's Host Monster. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm looking at. I wonder if Host Monster owns Host Monster. Is that what I'm asking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, do you have a prospective uh, name coming out for that? It's uh, Chillatech.net. I have a some junk up on the front end, and then I'm actually working on. I installed the WordPress plugins last night. Who's competing well. with you? With me? Yeah. What am I you... competing with? You? Awesome cast. What's he, he wants a cut of the market. <laughs> what are you talking about? No. Is this area right? <laughs> Isn't it? Welcome, welcome I'm, playing a little, I'm playing a little big planet. You think I care about Chilla starting a blog? <laughs> 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 I mean, I'll read the crap out of it, but let's be honest. Not like, that I care hey, about anything I read, but... Right now, I'm just so preoccupied with something else. Little big planet. Okay. Is that in your hundred game or a thousand and one games? Yes, it is. Yes, he's only loading games from his list onto the devices. Yes. So that's pretty. That's one way to do it. Talk to the people, Chachi. Tell us. Tell us what you're doing. Uh, I'm playing a little big planet. No, talk to the. No, here. Meet me over at camera three. Hey guys. Hi. Meet me in camera three. <laughs> Hi. Hi, peoples in camera three. I'm playing a little big planet. See that. And you, have a blog. Paused right and, now. and you have a blog. Yeah, I have a blog. It's over at ChachiSays.net where I'm playing 1,001 video games from the book 1,001 Video Games That You Must Play Before You Die. I'm on, tomorrow will be game 57, which means I still have a long ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm already finding out that I don't like most of the, ga- like most of the picks I don't think should be in a 1001 video games. Well, then when you're done, you can do Chachi's 1001 video games that you definitely should play. Before. No. No? I don't. Once I play the 1001 video games that some other jackass pick. Right, don't tell me. Tell them. I am. Okay. And you that, got uh, some other jackalope picked. <laughs> then, uh, well, I, I'm trying to stay on the microphone. And okay. It was just That's awkward fine. that That's way. That's fine. This is new. But, um. <laughs> I'm sorry, audio <laughs> listeners. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna want to go through and make my own list mm-hmm. after I'm done playing with someone else's list. Okay. <laughs> Did that sound wrong? Yeah, that sounds right. And what happened yesterday? What happened yesterday? Release. Hmm. Unsung. Oh, unsung. Unsung episode six is available for your viewing pleasure. Which had a really sa- sweet location. Yes, we were on the top of a building in downtown Pittsburgh, um, the Century apartment building 
whatever that was called. On top of the world, baby. Yes, we were on top of the world. Um, so you can check that out at pittsburghonvideo.org mm-hmm. and help me keep making a paycheck. Because that would be <laughs> wonderful. And we are, wonderful. last I saw, we're number two there. Wonder two? No. Number two. That's number not two. good. This Give Me Hope campaign was pretty big. Yeah. Although, I think it's by... I don't know who it is. But anyhow, and mm-hmm. we started planning uh, Chachi Plays 2. Chachi Plays for Kids. Yes. Again. 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, we're still deciding on the name. Yes. So, there's that. Yes, and also go to podcamppittsburgh.com. There's a bunch of stuff happening there. No, um, there's not. There's going to be a podcamp September <clears throat> 16th, 17th. Or was it 17th and 18th? 17th 16th, and 18th. 16th, 17th, That's and 18th. That's the week of my birthday. Happy so birthday, buy me, Chachi. Buy me presents and yes. bring him the pod camp. There you go. There you go. Rob Dale Crater, what's happening with you, sir? Well, uh, so far I figured out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you still doing math? No. Uh, so uh, Host Monster and Bluehost are owned by the same company, which is Vodahost. And Vodahost is also a scam for somebody else. So there's somebody on top of this whole thing. Just saying. Are you trying to figure out like the hosting pyramid screen that uh, Chill is now involved in? <laughs> yes, I am. Because I, well, I've, I've I've been doing the hosting thing for like a while, and there's oh, it annoys the heck out of me. There's there's somebody locally who I won't mention, um, who uh, who has a host, and they're just a reseller account for somebody else. Mm-hmm. So it's just an upcharge fee. You're facing somebody else's upcharge fee. So this, here's your pro tip for the week, kids: looking for hosting, smartest thing you can do: find out who owns the host you're looking to host with, and then find out who owns them, and who owns, and find the base of the pyramid. And buy from them. <laughs> no, the top, the top of the pyramid. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The top of the pyramid. Bottom of the pyramid would be people like Bluehost. And the top of the pyramid, <laughs> I haven't found the top of 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 Chilla's pyramid. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> that, that sounds dirty. Wow. Well, as long as he feels like he's handling he's, he's climbing my pyramid. <laughs> I am climbing your pyramid as we yeah. speak. Trace routing your pyramid. Yeah. Oh, trace routing the pyramid. <laughs> as long as you don't finger it. Oh man. <laughs> On the oh, way, but anyway, uh, yeah, I uh, what am I doing? Uh, the podcast thing. Uh, I launched a new uh, that T-shirt thingy that I do stuff for CottonFactor dot com. I launched a new server for them, so Ooh. that's big business. Doing Ooh. things. What don't you do, Rob? Doing what things. don't we should get? We should maybe get some T-shirts for you kids. For for yeah. us kids. Yeah, for you kids. You know, Sorgatron Media T-shirts. Come on, that's damn straight. You get some yeah. stuff for a Spreadshirt, but you know, yeah, nobody's can, buying can. them. Make some stuff happen. Uh, so doing that, doing the flock of cycles thing, uh, traveling. I'm going to Baltimore in uh, two weeks, I think. And I should, I think, if everything works out, I'll be coming to you live from Baltimore. Nice. Nice. You can scout the place out for us when we go in uh, in uh, later August. Awesome. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Um, also, hey, I want to throw a shout out to, uh, it's over linked over at Sorgatron Media, but a uh, friend of the show, Justin Kanaki, was on the Canadian television yesterday. There he is in the corner. <laughs> yes. That's right. He's a friend of Canada now. Uh, so the, the, the big secret is uh, you should nuke your blog. Yes. And then call the, the foreign news bureau. <laughs> no, no. You tweet something interesting that catches the eye of a foreign news bureau bureau sorry and then uh nuke your last three months of the blog so that that one post that they would be interested in for a feature on the five uh year birthday of twitter uh gets noticed and they give you a call and you cancel your shoot giving yep. sorg a night a night off to watch wrestling Yay, yes sorg. yes yes Yay. um but no go check that out we do have a link over at sorgatronmedia.com uh i think he did pretty good uh nice backdrop of pittsburgh there yeah he said he was well. He was talking uh, before we did the freelance for real. He's like, you know, this is like what at nine thirty at night, and he's like, they asked him if he wanted day or night in his backdrop. And I was like, what time zone are they in? Anyways, they're in Eastern. Eastern, the Canadians. Which can which, which, which area? Yeah, yeah. Which, which Canadians? I don't know the ones on the CBC. Uh, apparently, Mark. <laughs> connects, wow, that narrows it down. Can somebody in that Mark room hit him? Please. I don't know what. I, I will. That's why I have a barrier in I front will, of me. I will as soon as we leave the room. As soon as we exit the air. All right. Yes, because it probably will be swearing. Hey guys, check us out again. Awesomecast.com. Uh, hit us up at contact at awesomecast.com. Uh, seven two four two five eight cast seven two four two five two 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 seven eight. Did you get that, Trachi? Yes. Yeah. I heard okay. you. You got me. You got me. I heard you that time. Um, also, hit us up on Twitter oh, no. at AwesomeCast. You can join us live in the chat room. Although the chat room was kind of broken on the page. Um, at no, live.sorgatronmedia.com. Oh, no. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're over on iTunes, Mediafly, Roku, Blip TV, and Come on watch me YouTube. play Little Big Planet. Chachi's going to play Little Big Planet. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, there yeah. he is. Chachi playing for Chachi playing Little Big Planet. Oh, Chilla showing up, Chilla showing off the legs there on that shot. And Rob, <laughs> this is Sora. Keep it awesome, people. I see a big blue screen. Not that I want to see your face, but I have a big blue screen. Well, fine. <laughs> I'm using up approximately one third of the bandwidth of a full color feed. <laughs> what? <laughs> RGB. It's a joke, man. Come on. Oh, Keep up. Oh, RGB. Oh, you care such oh, a geek. <laughs> you're such a joker. <laughs> no, I'm working on it. I'm actually uh, shortly, if I get all the right hardware in, uh, you will soon see what uh the audience sees <coughs> in your really? in your skype feed Ooh. raptors win i wrapped my head around it yeah. i priced it out i, I won by it. 22 points i found that's that that blue screen uh the only reason you get a blue screen is because i have a composite and an s video going out of the same out and okay. apparently i can't do both of those at the same time i did the same thing to your mother last night <laughs> everyone's doing stuff to your mom my mom is a nice lady, okay? Well, when she's, she's in the app she's store. She's very nice with two she's video a nice feeds, lady. I'll tell you what. She's got a high rating on the app store. She's 99 <laughs> cents. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. She's not even a premium price. No, not at all. She's not like one of those 299 apps. No. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> well, now we got something for the post rail. Let's just start the show. I don't care what we're talking about now. We're you talk guys are on your own. Uh, I don't care. Uh. <laughs> We're talking about your mother. Um, uh. They're claiming 20 million iPhones and 9 million iPads. I just want to make sure it's in the last quarter. Yeah, we're talking. I uh, unlocked sales two numbers. badges for you. Yeah. Two badges? Yeah. That's only because I, I haven't played the iPad one as oh, much as the iPhone. Oh, freaking Lion launches tomorrow. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No one cares. Yeah, am I the only one that's been playing with the uh, old master? Yes. Well, I know you have it, Chachi. After my experience with the iOS five beta, I would I cannot like for work reasons I cannot afford to have that sort of experience on my main laptop. I saw uh, what did I see last night? I saw um, Bad Teacher. Ooh, how was that? That was awful. <laughs> oh my! What's her face? Cameron Diaz. Her career's over. <laughs> oh, holy crap. She looked haggard, too. She looked, um, she looked melty uh, was the best way we could describe it. She looked kind of iffy in Green Lantern. What the her hell? Green Hornet. Who the hell put my status as big, stupid penis head? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just read the doc for the first time. It's been like that since Welcome. maybe five minutes after Mike shared the doc. Yeah, dude. I, I've been busy all day. I'm sorry. That's why you're a big, stupid penis head. <laughs> I was working and stuff. God, God Rob. Rob, mm. you look good. You're smooth. You're <laughs> hairy. You're moving. Big, stupid penis head. What's, what's happening? I just got off my bike, too. Well, I meant your feed in general, but... <laughs> 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 I'm just going to make ridiculous... Oh, the only good thing about Bad Teacher, uh, Justin Timberlake dry humping in denim <laughs> like denim. like really excitedly dry humping in denim and making the best face ever like that's the only there's like 30 seconds in the movie that is this one scene where he and and uh cameron diaz dry hump vigorously like that's his that's his main game sort of deal just dry and humping his, <laughs> his yeah his and his o face is so it's 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 it's, uh, we're going to put you in a film with Cameron Diaz. I know he, she's like 20 years older than you, but you're going to dry hump her. You're going to dry hump her. You're going to dry hump the shit out of her. Mm -hmm. Let's clear that up. Exactly. And it was, yeah, it was, it's, that's like the clip that's going to be on YouTube that everybody watches a thousand times before it gets mm -hmm. taken down. Wow. It's probably already on MySpace. There's a... Saying uh... yummy. MySpace There's... is always ahead of the game, you know? Not a lot here this week. What, news-wise? Yeah. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of, like, big stuff. Oh, and there's a uh, 
I, I'm I'm reminded of it because of the 3DS note in there. There's an HTC 3D thing that they're promoing before all the movies these days. It has a hardware switch to turn the display into 3D, and it has a 3D camera on it. That doesn't sound good. It sounds awful. It makes so, me want to hurt people. I'll keep doing this all night. Like, yes, Rob, what do you have to say? You have something to say? Rob De La Creta. I always do. He Rob's big, can't, stupid can't face. Big, stupid penis face. No, just... Not you, what? No, I just said internet. big, stupid face. Do, do I, I have to pull up the Justin.tv? Is that what you're telling me? No, 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 you don't. You, yes. can, watch, you can watch it in post. You big, stupid face. Why would I watch this crap in post? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Agreed. Hey. Hey. Rob and I agree upon something. Nobody watches this show, do they? No, they really don't. No? I watch well, it all the time. I watch it live because I can't download it to my iPhone to watch it. What? If what? I go to the iTunes store, I Oh, I, can't there's find no the video. video. Whoops. Yeah. I haven't Oops. fixed that yet. I don't know why. They keep rejecting our feed. <coughs> but there's nothing different between that and like the wrestling man. Big show stupid feed. face. Hmm. No idea. Now I can get Chachi says. I'll watch that. Big stupid <laughs> head. We have audio. I do. I look, well, if I watch it live, do I need to listen to it again? <laughs> yes. Wow, I do look nice. Look I at mean, that. Yeah, should be the only look at thing you. you listen to. Look at you. Look yeah. at the big sexy. It's actually, is that, is it showing up my wall? My wall is actually blue? No, no, not really. No? Not really. Because it looks blue from the from the feed. Uh, well, uh, that's compression. Your big stupid face. A little face. bit. It's more like. And I think. Like I dick. think Justin.tv finally figured out that they were letting people mute the ad because fuck them, I couldn't mute the ad. <laughs> now, are you on... Is there a feed on Boxy or... Not live. Not, no, not um, live, but I think, recorded. I don't know if we're on Boxy. We're on Roku. I think we're... There's yeah, no we're, app for we're, that. We're syndicated if, <laughs> if you have certain apps inside Boxy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Like, it, I'm not sure if you can get to us through the Blip TV app in there. Um, we just we just came up on uh, Tech Podcasts Network. Okay. Um, but I couldn't find us in Boxy yet. I don't know if they're more selective. Okay. Uh, but somehow, Cause... yeah, that was weird. Yeah, we got added to Tech Podcast Network, and now I'm apparently in the Google group for it. Which means oh I'm yeah, gonna... that was weird. I got that email from you. I'm like, what happened? What what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got hundreds more. I applied for it like two months ago. Like someone's like, oh, you should do this. I'm like, oh yeah, I should do it. And it's like, I guess it's Blueberry. It's raw voice with Blueberry. Whatever.